Welcome, friends, to another episode of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Sei Shu. Today, I'm thrilled to speak with Christy Drago Price, who's a photographer, a photo editor, and a consultant who will be presenting at Inspire Photo Retreats this next year. Christy has been the photo editor at Brides Magazine for over 13 years. She currently produces photo shoots for freelance clients and consults with wedding photographers, perhaps like you, through her website, Editor's Edge. Christy, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. I'm going to jump right in and ask you, Christy. You know, this is your first time coming to Inspire, and you've you've, uh, submitted your application to be a presenter, and you got accepted. How excited are you? I'm really excited. I'm very excited. I've never been to Inspire uh, photo retreats before, and from what I've seen and what I've heard via friends is that it sounds like and looks like a really exciting experience for people to get together um, in the dead of winter, like you had mentioned, to get, uh, share information and, and just connect with each other and, and support each other, which uh, is such a, a wonderful thing in the wedding photography community. It sure is. Uh, you know, I get absolutely amped when I, when I, when I know Inspire is coming up. I get absolutely excited about being there. Good friends, good food, good good drinks. Uh, it's all everything. Everything is good about it. Um, what motivated you? To, what motivated you uh, to apply in the first place? I mean, what is it that you're going to be bringing us at Inspire this next year? Right. So um, I sort of have an interesting uh, background and experience to bring to the wedding photography community. As you mentioned, I was the head of the photo department at Brides Magazine for over 13 years. I've been in the industry, the photo industry, for about 15 years, and um, you know I've had the opportunity to work with lots of different types of photographers on all ends of the photography business. And ranging from fashion to still life to lifestyle to weddings and and sort of get a really good rounded view of the industry and photographers and different photography styles. And I'm a photographer myself as well. Um, I'm also a wedding photographer. My, um, so it's, it's to be surrounded with other people of the same community. And, you know, one of the things that I had often take, taken for granted um, was the things that I was able to see and learn and what I want throughout my experience at Brides Magazine and currently at Condé Nast oh. that I can share with um, the industry. So one of the things that um, I'm going to be talking about are portfolio and website, website mistakes that um, I'm going to reveal some portfolio and common website mistakes that photographers make. I have viewed hundreds of thousands of websites and portfolios throughout my career and still am always watching the industry. And um, there's probably some small things that people may not realize that they're doing. And, and it's for everybody, not people that are just starting out. There's people that can need a revamp and, mm-hmm. and how to do that. And it can be incredibly overwhelming um, for people. And it was easier said than done when you know I was a photo editor sitting in my corporate tower, it was very easy for me to look down on on people's websites. Mm. And on the opposite side now, as a photographer really doing it more full time, I I understand how hard it is to edit your own work and um, curate it so that it is representing yourself and your brand. Indeed, indeed. Wow, that is an exciting, exciting presentation for sure. Uh, As I told you before we started recording, um, I'm in the midst of uh, revamping my own brand and getting back into photographing weddings and so this is uh well it's coming out well your presentation will be in february uh and <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have to get get going here and I'll, I'll definitely send you my my link to see what you've got to say but yeah. let, let's let's uh let's sort of drill down a little bit at least and if you could tell me tell me one thing that you've seen photographers uh doing right now that you, that sort of makes you go hmm why are they doing that uh especially on their website are they doing something or anything in particular that that may be changed for the better um well one of the, the top things that i i tell people is less is more and people tend to put way too much imagery and way t- uh, too much information on a website a website is sort of where people should be coming to get an overview of who you are, what you're about, 
what your brand is about and get them to contact you. And from there, once you contact, they contact you, you can then present more in person. You can send them links to online galleries that have mm -hmm. more varied imagery and things like that. But, you know, the, the one big mistake that I see are um, gallery, you know, portfolio galleries on people's websites or even just portfolios in general that are just um, stuffed with way too many images of the same type of image. Indeed. Uh, and the follow-up question would be, how many images is the right amount? Uh, see, that is the one question that people ask all the time. And I, <laughs> and I wish that there was, like, I can easily say you should have yes. 10 to 15. Yes. But there is no, you know, it all depends on how you're curating. Are you curating by wedding? Are you curating by, by theme or season? Or, you know, there's so many different ways to go about it. And the, the, what, uh, the, the, the easy answer, or not so easy answer, right. is you have to do what looks and feels right. Okay, okay. Um, you know, one of the things that I've seen uh, when I look at portfolios online, and I look at a lot uh, of mm. in, uh, portfolios and websites, is that the blogs, especially photographers and wedding photographers, are notorious for just packing it in with like hundreds and hundreds of images from the wedding. Um, it seems almost like they, they are you know, bringing all the images that they've shot into play and, and leaving nothing for surprise, you know, later on. Uh, yes. is, is that, is that an issue you think in terms of, uh, in terms of, in terms of future sales or future connections with other as, uh, as far as the, the blogs and, and yeah, as far as the like blog that? is concerned. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I can, I can recall one blog, uh, like one photographer would have literally hundreds of, of images, hundred probably a hundred images uh, in one blog post from one in, from one wedding. I mean, it's nice that she's or he is um, being able to post so many. But what do you think is the takeaway for a client looking at a, a website like that? I mean, is that an overwhelm well, or I is that, that is all, that going to be like it okay? Is, it is yeah, it is definitely an overwhelm, and it has to. Um, what you present on your website should it also reflect you as your brand. So if you are considering yourself a curated small boutique type photographer, then your website should, your imagery should be very curated and specific. If you are, um, you know, a big, bigger studio and you have lots of different photographers or something like that, you know, one of the things people always say is compare yourself to another store. So are you the, the Soho boutique or are you like Macy's on 34th Street where there's, you know, the flagship store of Macy's where there's seven different floors and different, ca you know, that kind of thing. So, you know, if you have tons of imagery by t different photographers, mm -hmm. you're maybe a studio and you're maybe Macy's on 34th Street. If you are a little bit more of a mom and pop DIY hipster, you know, place out in Brooklyn, then, you know, maybe you have that kind of, of branding and, and imagery and, and that kind of stuff. So it, I think, you know, like, as you said, people that throw way too much up on their blogs and, and things like that, they are sort of falling into the, um, accidentally on not purposely they are falling into a walmart category and nobody wants to be uh, uh, <laughs> nobody wants to be walmart no no <laughs> target no. target maybe but not walmart <laughs> <laughs> you know so it's and the people do it un, unintentionally because oh. they think that that it's what the viewer wants and as to your point as far as hurting previous uh sales is that when you meet with a client, you do want to be able to show them something they haven't seen before. Right. You do want to hold something back um, that is not maybe on your blog or website so that if they are getting excited. Well, thank you, Christy. It's, you know, it's information like this that uh, I know photographers are going to get from you when you present at Inspire in 2015. Um, I can't wait to sit on your on your presentation myself because I am a bit of a geek when it comes to things like this, and I, 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 I as a photo editor for the, in the past as well, I know that oh. I, I know that choosing images is not easy, uh, but it doesn't have to be immensely difficult either. You know, it can be done, um, right. and 
Um, I'm so glad that you're going to be at Inspire. I think we need we need to have people like you with your experience level to come in and tell us exactly what we should be doing. You know, so thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, well one of the things I'll say is, you know, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. The experience level. I don't want anybody to. Th I'm I'm very personable. <laughs> No, absolutely, so absolutely. No, but people don't be shy to come up and hang out, and, yeah. and we'll make each other laugh. Well, that's <laughs> that's one of the things you'll find uh, at Inspire is that it's naturally like that anyway. You know, it's like you know, speaker God. speakers, and, and and there's no distinguishing between a speaker and an attendee. You know, it just sort of blends right in. You know, so which is that's is what makes me excited. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, excellent. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in February 2015 then, Christy. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.